Early voting started in a number of states Monday, including Colorado, Wisconsin, and Florida. All battleground states up for grabs. CBS News Elections Director Anthony Salvanto is here to break down the numbers in these early voting states. So, Anthony, does a Donald Trump victory go through Florida? Uh, yes, at this point, Elaine. Let me show you. Here's the map as it stands right now where our polling has shown Hillary Clinton has had some sort of a lead. Now, that includes Florida in our most recent poll, but let's suppose that Donald Trump does go on and win Florida. Well, that doesn't get him quite to the 270 electoral votes that he needs. He's still got to go, and he's got to win North Carolina, let's say, a state he could win. And then Ohio, where recent polling has shown Hillary Clinton's got a lead, he's got to flip that too. So that's a lot of work. Even then, she would still win. And that's notable. She could still win without Ohio or Florida. That's why you see him spending extra time too in places like Pennsylvania, a state with a big number of electoral votes where Clinton has a sizable lead, but he'd have to flip that to get the 20 electoral votes for him to go over 270. So there again, Florida is essential but it's not all that he needs, Elaine. What about western states, Anthony? Do western states help Trump at all? Yeah, good question. If he should, let's say, not win that Pennsylvania and he still needs some extra states, he would have to go and win, let's say, Colorado to get there. He'd also, let's say he can swing Nevada and get and get uh, Nevada's votes, look at that doesn't even put him to 270 either. So he's still got to then go and get an Iowa, which he could win, and that could put him over the top. So what you're seeing is he'd need a lot of other states. He'd need a lot of western states. And one final thing, he's got to hang on to Arizona, where he's in a tight race. If that one should flip back away from him, this thing tilts back to Hillary Clinton. Uh, what about Florida again, Anthony? How does early voting in that particular state impact the race? Uh, a lot. More than half of the er, of the vote in Florida is going to be cast early, either by people voting in polling places before November 8th or by mail. In fact, there's already been a million mail ballots that have come in. And so that puts a, an extra pressure on campaigns organization. They've got to go knock on doors, get people not just to the polls on November 8th, but also to get them to fill out those absentee ballots or get them to vote early. And that is a big, big key to the race. Well, Anthony, we know Hillary Clinton has been putting more resources into Georgia, Arizona. What about Texas, too? Right, Elaine. In our latest poll, that race is close. You know, it tells a story that we've seen in many states, which is Donald Trump is underperforming with a lot of key groups that typically vote Republican. Take a look at this. In Texas, last time in 2008, it was 74 to 25 for John McCain among white college graduates. That number is a lot closer now between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. She's still losing that same group of white college graduates, but not by as much. And that's such a large group that it's enough to make the state close. That Trump underperformance with typically Republican groups we're seeing repeated in state after state. It's part of why Texas is close. It's also part of why many states have gotten so close, Elaine.